volcanoes. They're nature at its most spectacular. Their name comes from the word Vulcan, the Roman god of fire. And, well, you can see why. But while they're pretty cool to look at, they can also be dangerous. Just last week, a volcano in Mexico erupted, coating nearby towns in ash, forcing schools to close, and disrupting flights. It was very active last night. It was rumbling, it was spewing a lot of ash, and it was almost on fire. It has been seen over the years that ash clouds can cause damage to aircraft turbines, and if a turbine fails, an imminent crash of an aircraft will occur. It's called Popocatépetl, and it's one of the country's most active volcanoes. People here are, well, pretty used to it, but there's a lot going on here that we can't see. Underneath the Earth's crust, that's the bit we live on and grow plants in, things get much hotter. In fact, the centre of the Earth is as hot as the surface of the sun, which sends a lot of pressure out through the next layer, the mantle. In some spots, molten rock called magma pools at the surface of the mantle and breaks through weak spots in the crust as a volcano. Sometimes it rushes out from the ground in streams of hot ash, gas and lava, which is just what molten rock is called when it's above the ground. Turns out, while lava may be incredibly hot, it's actually not the most dangerous part of a volcano. It usually moves pretty slowly, giving people time to get out of the way. This is the sort of volcanic eruption that's really dangerous. It's called a pyroclastic flow. It's when really hot ash and rock blast out and race down the sides of the volcano. It's too fast to outrun and destroys everything in its path. The most famous example of this is the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, which smothered Pompeii and everyone inside under layers of hot ash. But most of the time, volcanoes are pretty manageable, and countries have plans in place in case they do erupt. Today, there are hundreds of active volcanoes around the world, although none of them are on mainland Australia. You see, the Earth's outer layer is actually a bit like a jigsaw, it's broken into pieces which are constantly and very slowly moving together. Where the jigsaw pieces meet, there are often weak spots and gaps where volcanoes can form. And we're smack bang in the middle of one of those pieces, or tectonic plates. Mexico sits on top of three of Earth's largest tectonic plates, so there are lots of active volcanoes in this area. For now, authorities are monitoring Popocatépetl and while they say there's no sign these small eruptions will turn into anything more destructive, they're staying on alert. <laughs>